Back on the show, Joe Zagacki, Don Bailey Jr. And time now for the keys to the game. Miami and App State at Hard Rock Stadium, 7 o'clock kickoff. I call the first one the two E's. Match App State's energy and emotion because they're coming in with a chip on their shoulder. So match their energy and emotion. Miami coming off the tough loss to Alabama. When you play App State, you've got to be able to stuff the run. And then the Hurricanes want to keep their offense on the field, do a better job with third down conversions. Stay on the field for the University of Miami. All right, so match App State's energy and emotion. Joe, I think that's going to be easy. Miami's at, at Hard Rock Stadium. You haven't been playing in front of anybody last year. The, there's going to be a, a, a full house. Let's hope. Let's hope everybody comes out and support it. They're going to run through the smoke. I think that they're going to have to be worried about our energy because these young men put a lot into that football game against Alabama. They're glad to be home. They're glad to be playing. And there's only one way to get over the Alabama loss, and that's a win. Now, you know, the Mountaineers have a lot of players uh, on their roster from South Florida. So they're thinking, hey, I should be on your sideline. That, <laughs> that generally leads to that chip on the shoulder type of thing. Okay, the uh, second key to the game, I think really the most important one, the foundation for App State is running the football. Scott Satterfield did it when he was there. He's still doing it at Louisville. The head coach for App State was the offensive line coach for Scott Satterfield. They run this play over and over. They do, but the good news is Coach Diaz explained to us, and we saw last week against Alabama, is the number of defensive linemen Miami has available to put in a ball game. I think when you look at that, it keeps your energy at a high level. It keeps you from getting tired and worn down. And App State does not have the depth that, that, that they need to keep pouring it on Miami. Miami defensively, that front seven, it's going to be a long day for them unless they, unless they figure out how to shut down that running play. When they do that, then the skies may open for the Hurricanes. Okay, a big thing for the University of Miami, big key in this one. Uh, struggled a little bit, but you saw when Miami converted their third downs, against Alabama, how that offense starts to click. And so uh, success leads to success. Positive plays lead to more positive results. Miami's got to stay on the field and convert their third downs. If you go back and you look, and I'm going to be off a little bit, the time of possession in the first quarter, I think, was Alabama was at about 10 minutes. Miami was at about 5. Miami had only 22 for the game. <laughs> That's right. 22 minutes for the game. So, and, and a huge portion of that in the first quarter was was upside down for Miami. So they've got to get the first downs. And if you talk to Coach Lashley, he'll tell you time and time again, he wants to have drives that continue to get first downs. His goal is to at least get one first down on each drive. And that way, it gives your defense time to rest, but it also will put more pressure on the, on the defense. I think they showed they had some third down makers. Keyshawn Smith made a nice play. Restrepo can be a third down guy. And of course, we did see Derrick King run on third down, which is one of his fortes. Well, I think that as time goes by, you're going to see De'Eric King become more comfortable running the football again. We have to remember, he's eight months off of major surgery. So he's kind of finding himself again, too, how he is physically, because he wasn't touched in the spring. He wasn't touched in the fall. He goes into a game against Alabama, and it's live, live, live. I mean, with big, strong guys coming after you, I think you'll see an even more comfortable De'Eric King and what he'll, he'll, he'll do is he'll elaborate in this offense, and you'll see him involved heavily in the running game. Miami and Appalachian State Saturday, 7 o'clock at Hard Rock Stadium. They cheer, they yell, they scream for the best moves. And the Miami Hurricanes are going to show you why they'll dominate the field this season. But for the best moves off the field, Good Greek Moving and Storage is the team you can rely on. We ensure a stress-free move on time and on budget, locally or nationwide. And now, Good Greek is the official mover of the Miami Hurricanes. Let Good Greek be your official mover, too. Good Greek, moving and storage, your superhero movers. Experience a winning combination at Williamson Cadillac with a streamlined car buying experience and an unmatched lineup of Cadillacs. From the unmistakable crossover series to the performance of our sedans, plus the original icon, the Cadillac Escalade. Williamson is Miami.